My name is Robbie Edrington. I am a first year student at Leeds Beckett University and I am currently studying business management. This is a vlog discussing key factors in the market environment which could affect Waitrose. To begin with, I will briefly define marketing, then I will discuss the macro and micro factors which have had an impact upon Waitrose, positively or negatively, and finally I will summarise and conclude the point raised. Marketing is the activities of a company associated with the buying and selling of a product or service. It includes advertising, selling and delivering the products to people. Waitrose is a chain of British, British supermarkets which forms the food retail division of Britain's largest employee-owned retail, retailer, the John Lewis Partnership. Macroanalysis includes factors that are external. For this I've used the PEST analysis as a means to analyse the external factors affecting Waitrose. PESTEL is an acronym for Political, Economic, Social, Cultural, Technological, Legal and Environmental. One macro factor which has affected Waitrose is the decision by the British public in the June referendum in 2016 to leave the European Union. Sir Charlie Mayfield, who is a chairman of John Lewis, said it would lead to higher prices in their shops in the UK, and this may also hit consumer confidence and spending for up to five years. Brexit has had an economic and demographical impact upon the supermarket market. On screen is an image of how Waitrose stores are distributed in the UK. The majority of Waitrose stores are in the south of England, where predominantly people are more affluent with a high dis higher disposable income, so are more able to cope with the increase in the price of products. This may be why they have continued to grow their market share in the aftermath of Brexit up to 5.3% as of the end of February, however not grown at the rate they have been in recent times. We can compare this to the market leader which is Tesco, who lost 0.3% of their market share as of the same time period. Furthermore, as of March 2017, John Lewis and Waitrose cut their staff bonuses to just 6% of their salary, so Mayfield said this was a re result of an uncertain market following the UK leaving the European Union. Although Brexit is yet to have a substantial impact on Waitrose, with John Lewis and Waitrose reporting pre-tax profits of £370.4 million for the year ending January the 28th, there are, however, there are, however, trade deals still to be made and prices still increasing. It could become a major factor for the company to mitigate. The recession in the UK between December 2007 and June 2009 was the worst financial crisis since World War II. It had a massive impact on the UK economy, with large unemployment rates and many businesses having to fold. Waitrose, being a premium price store, was really hit by the recession, with discount stores such as Aldi and Lidl having great success during this time. It led Waitrose to launch their label Essential Waitrose, which was a budget range of 1,400 products aiming to keep hold of customers and win back others who had opted to try Lidl and Aldi during this tough economic period. This resulted in Waitrose having a mid-recession boom. Their sales grew 10.2% in the 12 weeks up to the 9th of August 2009, which is almost twice as fast as the market average, which was 5.6%. This all means they responded very well to the recession, and they have continued to grow since this by implementing further budget products as the economy fully recovers. Microanalysis is the immediate environment which impacts a business. This includes internal factors such as employees and managers, connected factors such as retailers, customers, suppliers, and finally, external factors such as pressure groups, local press, and the media. A micro factor which has benefited Waitrose in recent times is the social trend of healthy eating, which usually consists of high quality foods. With the phenomenon which, that which is social media, many celebrities are endorsing a healthy lifestyle and it has led to a huge influx of healthy foods and drinks and other products in this niche market. For example, Waitrose reported avocados for sales increased by 24% on a year by year value as of 2016. In 2015, a survey of 30,000 people conducted by Nielsen showed that 90% of customers are willing to pay extra for added quality. Healthy food and drinks are on track to hit $1 trillion in sales by, uh, by the end of this current year. Waitrose have a large selection of high quality, healthy foods, whether it's their own label or established brands, all of which suit this current trend and have a positive impact on Waitrose. This is a micro factor as it directly relates to the customers. Another micro factor currently benefiting Waitrose in this uncertain market following Brexit is the, uh, that of ver vertical integration. Analysts have said that supermarkets that manufacture their own goods have a much better chance of surviving a price war. Waitrose manufactures many of its own goods already, with its Dovecote Park unit meaning it can manufacture goods just as cheap as competitors such as Aldi and Lidl, whilst maintaining their high level of product quality. Vertical integration allows to maintain better profit, ma profit margins and react quickly to changes within this particular market. In 2015, Waitrose changed the way their customer loyalty cards worked, giving customers 
the option to choose 10 products from a list of 1,000 which they can receive 20% discount on, whether it is online or in store. Waitrose have stated that 70% of all their transactions made in their stores are by customers using their loyalty cards, which shows how well they have marketed this scheme to encourage people to frequently use them and then return to the store over and over again as it, as it, as it is a beneficial way for customers to shop as it saves them money. To conclude, I believe Waitrose as a whole has reacted very well to changes in the marketing environment by adapting to increasing costs and the rise of rival, rival stores such as Lidl and Aldi by releasing their own budget products during a difficult economic period and implementing appealing new methods such as with their loyalty card which showed customers how to use them effectively to save money for themselves but ultimately helps increase sales and market growth for Waitrose.